Hey, my community, Jeff back again. This is going to be part two of my recent travels to uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina to see the Striper concert. As mentioned in the first video where I stopped at a record store, I had texted, I got into Wilmington, North Carolina. We were stopping to grab a bite to eat, and I thought, you know, on a whim, I just said, I'm going to reach out to Greg at Gerder. I know he lives there, and just let him no, and well, I was asking him, hey, where's a good record store to go to? I'm stopping to grab a bite to eat. Where's a good place to eat uh, for what we were looking for? And I was thrilled, surprised and thrilled that he wrote back and said, hey, while you're here, swing by the new Girder Warehouse, new Girder location that they just opened up recently and swing by and we'll catch up. So I was like, great. And my wife was like, not a problem. You know, we didn't have any urgency getting down there. Um, and so, yeah, we swung by there. So what I'm going to show real brief is I'm going to try to edit this down because the video I've got of us arriving and looking around goes on for probably 11 minutes. My wife just filmed everything up to a certain point. And then there's also a clip where I'm going to play where we did an unboxing of something that came in right then, the, the day of, that he hadn't even opened yet. And he said, let's film this. So anyway, let's jump right into this. This is me arriving at the Girder new location and meeting up with Greg for the first time in face to face, and uh, and the fun that we had there. It's just a little briefly look around. Here you go. All right, on the road again, and we actually uh, are in Wilmington, North Carolina. We're heading down to see uh, Striper in in uh, Myrtle Beach in a couple of days, and so we stopped here, and we found the new location for the new Girder Records warehouse. If you've been following Girder Records on. Uh, any of their platforms, TikTok or whatever, you've seen this building go from rags to riches. It's got uh, all built custom inside. And so I was just excited. So I shot a message to Greg and said, hey, uh, I'm in town. And he said, swing by. So here we are. So we're going to go check it out. All right, here we go. Oh, he's on the phone. Jeff, is that you? That is me. Oh, he's filming me. Come on in. Him. Hey. Look at this. The new girder building. Oh, the wall of amazement. Look at that. Ooh, anyway, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, which albums of those do you have? I have many of them. I got that one, I think, that one. I haven't ordered this one yet. I have this one. That Macho Man took the world by storm, and I don't I, know I, why. I, I, have a different, I have a different color. Yep. Um, That's the one with the belt. Okay. The limited edition belt on the side. See that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was not the one I got. I got that one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. You need to get the new Vans, yeah? I'm going to get it, but I just, uh, I just haven't got it yet. Yay! I'll make sure you can get it. <laughs> great stuff. Anyway, yes, great to be here. Great. Look at this place. Man. We're just moving in. Records everywhere. Brand Look. new. We're Look just, that's my, that's my office. office. You can take a peek in my office real quick. There's not much to see, but uh, that's where I pretend like the magic happens. Don't trip on the vinyl on the floor. And this is our shipping room in here. You can come back here and I'll show you the shipping room. This is where, this is where the magic happens. These are shipping tables. This is where we ship product. And we've look got at all these records. Vinyl everywhere. We've got new vinyl. We've got old vintage CCM vinyl. All kinds of mainstream vinyl views, new old box sets. Yeah, Over here we've got 45s. We've got stickers, leftover trading cards, um, all kinds of stuff, and um, a random assortment of SCG graded baseball cards, yeah, baseball which card. was the whole reason <laughs> that got me thinking about how cool would it be <laughs> to put cards inside of the CDs because I'm a football fanatic nice. and I love football cards so I'm like hey I remember back in the day when Kiss had packs of trading cards and so we started really early on putting trading cards in packages and and it's turned out to be rather successful we've got random Petra 50 box sets these are all five that are left over the five LP box set yeah that has all the music and then we'll uh, i'll take you in the back room here in the warehouse and you can see back here let me turn the music down i'm obviously wow, uh look at this. jamming to some petra mm -hmm. but you might recognize a few cds here mm. wow you might uh see some stuff for 
sale that, you know, we have record players up top. <laughs> we have stands for record players. We got cassette, cassette tape holders. We've got, and then boxes and boxes and boxes of product up and down the aisles. And then who'd have thunk that ever had this much Christian music out there to begin with. And then all of these <laughs> are just boxes of who knows what we're just moving in so you'll see, see stuff sitting everywhere we just got uh, a bunch of product in that we're listing we're skewing away that is all product to be listed on our website that's all product that's going to be listed on our website none of that stuff is listed and we, we've and got pallets. an array <laughs> of pallets of products a lot most of this stuff is vinyl petra beyond belief vinyl We've got um, Unseen Power Vinyl, we've got Leviticus Knights of Heaven, and Resband Hostage, and Dale Thompson IC Red. I think this whole palette is Firewind, and some of the stuff we started at Backbreaker Records uh, for some product that isn't Christian. We wanted to start a different label for it to kind of keep things separate. It seems because like everybody's doing that. I mean, we, well, we've, has, we've had a few complaints from some customers that that if we don't specifically list it they don't know yeah one of the big they problems assume everything on one of the bigger problems that we ran into was a lot of the stuff that's come off on tooth and nail in the recent years not all that's christian you don't know that it's yet. not satanic there's not bad there's not swear word, but a lot of people you want something a little more kind of have an old school mindset like you and i had that there was christian music and then there was secular music and now i think it's politically correct to call it mainstream yeah. not secular you know, so we started a different label just to kind of house some other product, and you'll see it available on Girder, but we also didn't want to put these bands alongside of Christian bands right. because a lot of them, they didn't want to, right? So, yeah. stipulations well, everybody's doing because you, you know, you got Brutal Plant, and then of course you got No Light, uh, No Light Till Metal, so yeah. yeah, everything, so they do it yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense. You know, and, we, and these yellow boxes are t-shirts, we have some Petra shirts, we have Human Code shirts. We have, these are all... I thought uh, I bought my human coat shirt, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, we got older Petra shirts that we had put out at one point, and we have Petra Best for Last shirts. So, there you have it. Well, thanks for letting us sneak in and see this. Nice. Are you done? Oh, you, no, you're not. You're still coming. Look at that. Hi, say hi. <laughs> Okay, and as you can see, there were quite a few records to look through, which I did do. He had a lot of stuff there. Now, Girder Music, if you're not familiar with them, they are, uh, they the, the bulk of what they do is uh, in the Christian realm, in the Christian rock realm. But they do have a side of their publishing, um, Backbreaker Records, where they do put out other titles by other bands that are more mainstream. They're not in the Christian realm. So you can get a little bit of both worlds. And on their website... He runs across and, and acquires a lot of used, uh, you know, mainstream, non-Christian stuff, which he does sell also. So those boxes and stuff on the table uh, are everything. It's all kinds of stuff. And I did look through there and uh, bought some stuff. But before we get to that, let's move on to the unboxing of the item that just came in that day. And we'll see that for the first time together. Check it out. All right. And now we're going to get an exclusive just in. What did you say? It was just in the mail? This just came in. Uh, this just arrived on a pallet and back. Rust half. Christmas, Christmas song album on vinyl. On red. I think it's on red. It's I think it was supposed red. to be on red, yeah. Might be on green. Could be pink. We don't know. That would not be great Christmassy, but we're going to see. That would see. not be Christmas. You got a whole pallet of anyway, these and this is just one box? Yeah, I just brought one box up. So I have not seen this. Until right now. Until right now. There's the back. Pretty. There's the front. Oh, that looks pretty good. Sticker. Got the red. And uh, I'll have to thank Scott Waters for this, but Scott Waters taught me a little trick about opening vinyl. Oh, yeah, I saw that. You kind just rub it on your jeans. Makes my leg burn a little bit, though. Makes my leg burn a little bit, and but it, it pops that thing right yeah. open. And uh, you go home and try to figure out why in the world your pants have a big one mark on them. Yeah, anyway. rips your pants so, right open. Here is the typical insert there we got that lists all the musicians. Here's got the credit remastered information. Um, 
really nice, kind of an alternate. It was from the... Oh, a different clothes. Oh, he took his jacket off. Cool. Yeah, just a different um, piece. And then... Red. Beautiful. Translucent red. Beautiful red vinyl. Sweet. There, there you've go. got it. You've seen it first. Okay. And after that unboxing, he turned around, since it was already open, and he handed it to me and said, Merry Christmas, and he gave me a copy of the Russ Taft album. Now, I had this on my wish list to eventually buy, but I had not pre-ordered it. Um, it was just one of those things I haven't got yet. So, the Russ Taft album, this is a Christmas album he released in 92. This is the first time on vinyl. And so, as you saw in there, I'm not going to show it to you because you saw it all. It's red. It's beautiful. And yeah, I've listened. It sounds great. So you need to check this out if you're into Christ Christmas music. It's got all the traditional stuff. If you're familiar with Russ Taft's smooth, amazing voice, then you will also enjoy this. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Angels, we have heard on high the Christmas song. God rest you, merry gentlemen. I'll be home for Christmas. Let it snow, let it snow. White Christmas, what child is this? It came up on a midnight clear. What a wonderful world. So it's all the classics that you're familiar with. And it's not Mariah Carey. So you should enjoy it even more. Check it out. It is available first time on vinyl. GerdaMusic.com. You'll want to go grab this. Now, moving on. This is, one, this is an album. Now, he did not release this. But this is distributed and he's the exclusive i guess exclusive u.s distributor or it's the exclusive version of this now the album itself is not officially released to the world until thanksgiving day but of course he received them earlier and you know he allowed me to buy it which i did buy this one um from him and that's the new always look up by van zant the van zant brothers this is johnny and donnie van zant johnny of course was a solo artist for the longest time, and then when his brother Ronnie died, he took over in 90, 87, he did the tribute tour. Uh, but in 91, the first Skinner album after the plane crash, he became the singer and has been the singer ever since 91. So you got Johnny from Leonard Skinner, and then you got Donnie, who has been the longtime guitarist and singer of 38 Special. So, And they've done lots of albums together over the past... 20 years um the last one was a handful of years ago my kind of country this is the first time they've done an album in quite a while and this one actually is a christian based gospel type album if you've seen the videos for the song jesus christ and a couple other songs that's what this is and the album is on frontiers records out of italy you know the same label that does bands like striper and a ton of other tradi you know traditional melodic metal bands um, but they also have this, have brought this, picked this up, and then they worked with Girder to do an exclusive splatter edition, only available through Girder. Clear and black splatter. It is. I think there were four hundred of these, very limited. So. You're going to want to grab this before it, they are gone. If you, I, I like this, but I'm going to keep that out there. So, yeah, and if you haven't heard this or if you're, you know, just check it out. It's a southern rock with a, you know, southern rock, slightly country, but, you know, a, a rock and roll, uh, you know, gospel album. It's not gospel in the style of that music, but, you know, it is lyrically based around that. And I've listened to it, and it's really good, and it will hit the world on Thanksgiving Day, they will start, you know, making this public. So, I didn't peel the shrink wrap off yet because I need to get some bags, but it is a gatefold, and it looks like it's got some pictures of the brothers in there. So, anyway, check it out. You can grab that, and they will ship those out shortly. Now, the rest of the stuff I got, I did go through those boxes. Not all of them. I should have, but I was seeing how my bill was starting to rack up, and I thought, you know, I am going to... Pull the plug on this, and I found a couple things I wanted. These are some of the examples of some of the things he has. Um, he had the final countdown by Europe for a really good price and a really good condition. And so I went ahead and grabbed this. Again, he you know, he has all kinds of music, mainstream and Christian. So I grabbed that. Yeah, I, I don't have Europe. I don't have any Europe. I want Europe, and I never seem to find them in the wild. So found one, grabbed it. 
Um, this one was one I thought I still don't have this album. It's one of my favorites. I had it back in the day. Still one of my favorites, and I just have never found a decent copy for a decent price. And then when I saw it, I thought. I'll, maybe I'll get it. And my wife says, yes, you're getting it because it's one of her favorite albums too. Ghost in the Machine by Police. Um, so yeah, I think I currently have one or two of the previous albums, but you know, need this. I think I, I think I have Synchronicity. That's the other one. That's my wife's absolute favorite. So grab that. Again, these are just fillers, whole, whole fillers. Quick and simple, just grabbed a couple of things and then we sat around. I didn't record any of that, but we sat around and talked and told stories and shared moments up until in the evening and then we said okay i guess we're going to get down the road it was past closing time for him and he you know i pretty much killed his day as far as work goes it was only the afternoon but had a great time greg was so hospitable he was so accommodating and just it was great to actually sit down with somebody and just have so much you know in common and stories of old and bands and and music and and it was just an amazing time of fellowship and I was very, even my wife, she was not bored sitting and listening to us gab about music and gab about bands. My wife came away with and just enjoyed it. She was not in a hurry to go anywhere. And, you know, we made it to our destination fine later that night. Great time, though. Check out Gerda Music, GerdaMusic.com. There's probably something there that you'll like. Fine stuff for everyone. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard. <laughs>